Hey, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Jason in the QLH shop. So, I cracked, uh, I don't know, the uh, code for a $1 trim jig. Um, <clears throat> Here is the $1 trim jig. It actually costs a little less than $1. Uh, secret, not much of a secret, Paris of Plaster. Um, and the red stuff is Plasti Dip Spray. Uh, gives a really good uh, grip to the Kydex as you put it on uh, and doesn't allow it to move. The trick that uh, I think the trick is the you want your static friction between the Kydex and the jig to be more than the static friction of your jig to the table or your router bench um, or whatever you're using. So as long as you can keep that static friction more between the kydex and the jig than the jig and the deck, um, your shell is not going to move. Once you put it on, you can trim it and it's not going to shift, move, or anything. So Plasti Dip, you know, rubber in a can seems to be the best option for that. So. We're going to mix up some pairs of plaster and I've got my uh, shell right there uh, it's for the Glock 22. Um, so I've got to fill this in. Um, you don't want, you fill it in, you fill in the cavity. Uh, of course you want to tape off anything where it's going to just leak out, but the stuff's kind of thick and uh, so it should be good. Um, I don't have any spillage, but once you fill your shell then you'll scrape off because you just need the profile down to the deck of your jig so we'll just scrape all the excess off so i got a paper towel under there to catch the excess i've got my aluminum extrusion for my level i guess so let's mix this stuff up so what you're going to need is paris plaster it's a two to one mix is a 16 ounce solo cup and an eight ounce paper cup. You want a mixing bucket, um, preferably plastic, because you can reuse it. So the trick with mixing Paris of Plaster is you start with the water. So start with your wet ingredient first, and then add your Paris of Plaster. Reason behind this is, and you'll see, as I dump this in, you'll see it kind of dissolve into it, but what you see is air bubbles escaping. If you do Paris of Plaster and then the water, your air bubbles are gonna get trapped inside. So to eliminate your air bubbles, you want to set your Paris of Plaster in there and then give it a minute. Let all that air escape, so let it break apart and dissolve. All right, so we're back day two. Um, let this sit in front of the heater overnight. And what we've got is the plaster of Paris inside. So what you want to do is <clears throat> make your, you want to knock down all the high spots. Um, best way to do that is sheet of sandpaper. I've already done it, but uh, sand, uh, sheet of sandpaper and rub it till all, all the high spots are knocked down. All right, uh, so once you're done with that, you want to take the plaster pairs outside or remove it from the Kydex. Um, you can do that, try to do it as carefully as possible to knock it out. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so once you have it removed, so I've got it removed, I pulled it out of the, uh, the Kydex. You can save these, reuse them, make another one, you, but you can save that shell for making more. Um, since these are so cheap, um, 
I recommend saving this, uh, making two or three of them in case you chew one up, you got to back up. Um, but yeah, save them somewhere safe. So what you're want to, what you're going to want to do now is I've got this eight by eight as a quarter inch plywood. Um, and I bought a sheet of it at Lowe's for like $10 before a, was it two by four? Yeah, two by four sheet for like $10. Um, so you'll want to glue this onto the board. Best way to do that, spray adhesive. Let me find my... Three M Super Seventy Seven spray adhesive. So, spray the back side of your um, plaster of Paris. Yeah, plaster of Paris, uh, and then set it down on top of it and let that cure. You can further sand this if you want to get it nice and flush, um, but there's really no need. There's enough contact surface for it to you know set down on top of the wood. So I'm gonna go do that. Okay, so we got the plaster pairs glued down, a nice tight fit on the board. What you're gonna to wanna to do now is increase the static friction uh, between the kydex and the uh, jig. So Plasti Dip, rubber in a can. It's gonna give you a nice, cause this is real smooth right now. It's going to give you a nice grippy texture um, so you can keep put the kydex on and it's not going to shift around or move. It's going to make a nice tight fit. So you do as many layers as you feel necessary. Um, I've been good with about two, two coatings of this stuff. Um, yeah, so there you go. Let's go do that now. All right, so uh, we're back. Uh, I made um, two additional shells. One that I cut up and did the fold over um, and made these even, you know, all my outside edges even. Um, so that is going to get transferred onto this. So when you put it on, um, oh, and I've got two coats. <clears throat> I did two coats of the Plasti Dip spray on there. So when I go to put the shell on, it fits pretty snug and doesn't, you know, move. So it actually takes a little bit to pop it off, which is good. That's what you want. Um, so I transferred some lines, but I'm going to leave this on and I'm going to cut the wood um, and, you know, my, my trace lines there. Um, so once it's done being cut, then I'll put this on there and this is the test. So I'll run a test on it to make sure that it uh, does is exactly what I'm asking it to do. Um, so we cut this out All right, so now our trim jig is precisely cut out um, glued down to a board uh, made of Paris of, or yeah, you know, plaster of Paris um, And it's got a nice tight fit to it. So when you put the shell on it just sinks right up onto it So we can uh, now put our tester on and, of course, run our test. There you go. One dollar trim jig. And that's how you make it.